So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview, broadcast and recorded live on blogtalkradio.com from the new media and American League Baseball capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. If you're a Heroes fan, I've got a treat for you today. My guest is Christine Rose, who stars in the NBC drama as the mysterious, calculating matriarch Angela Petrelli, who, we believe, is willing to sacrifice anything, including her gifted sons, Nathan and Peter, to change the world. Apparently, having sons played by Adrian Pastar and Milo Ventimiglia doesn't have much of an impact on Angela. Here's a, here's a sample of Christine's work on the latest episode of Heroes. This is Bennett. Noah. Angela. I'm worried about you. I've had a dream. Do you know about what happened at the place called Coyote Sands? I've heard whispers, rumors. For 20 years, anyone I ever asked always told me the same thing. Which is? That I should never ask again. Peter and I are headed there now. I spoke with Nathan. He and Claire will meet us. I need you with us. It's time everyone knew the truth. I just have a few loose ends to tie up. They showed me a body. Our old friend with a six-inch spike in his skull. Siler? So they tell me. There's only one way to be sure. No, leave it alone, Noah. Get out while you can. Where'd they take the bodies? Crematorium. Barbecue day. No, leave it. Are you listening to me? Leave it alone. Leave. Noah. Noah? Christine Rose, welcome, Mr. Media. Hi, Mr. Media. Uh, can we finish the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, interview with that spooky mu- music playing in the background? I think it adds to the effect. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You're reading my mind. I was listening to that uh, without the video, and I was thinking, this would be great as an old-time radio show. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow. <yes. laughs> well, now you're scaring me. Slow down. Slow down. Uh, <laughs> so... So that, I mean, that clip is quite the attention getter. I mean, how worried should fans be about Noah snooping at the Siler situation? Yeah, well, uh, you know, Angela knows a lot about what's going to happen in the future, and she knows. I don't think she ne- even needs to dream if about that. If Siler's involved, get out of there while you still can. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, she's, got, she's talking in that clip about Coyote Sands, and we're all getting uh-huh. together. I'm getting the family together, and I want to get uh, HRG there. And we got their last episode, and I have them digging and in this middle of nowhere at this deserted barracks situation, and they're finding all these skeletons. And tonight, in tonight's episode called 1961, we're going to find out why. What, where did all the skeletons come from? We're going to find out a lot about the skeletons figuratively and in reality in uh, Angela's closet. It's going to be a great episode. Now, when you get them all together, I mean, does, does Angela take like a picnic lunch for them for something like this, or are they pretty much on their own? Um, I, I brought hot dogs. We're going to build a big bonfire. We're going to make some s'mores. You know, that's her. She's got a background in the Girl Scouts, quite frankly. There's so much you don't know about Angela. But tonight you're going to find out. One of the things you're going to find out tonight is one of my things that I've always wondered about, as has uh, several fans. And in the pilot episode, Angela does something very idiosyncratic. She 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 does something, and people have been saying, why, why? I was saying, why, why, why? Tonight we find out why. It's a great secret, I think. It's a fun secret that's going to be told. This is episode 323, I think, season right. three. Yep, right. Um, it sounds like you enjoy this character to death. Am I wrong? I ha- you are not wrong at all. It's been a blast. Uh, I've had so many fun characters to play in my life, but at my, this point in my life and my career, to be handed Angela and with the complexity that um, of her character, the evil, the good, the sad, you very rarely do you see her happy. Um, uh, we've seen her maybe smile a couple of times that haven't, you know, sometimes you see her smile, but it's with a real chill in the air. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, she's just kept me guessing. They've kept me guessing all this time, and I'm trying to pick pieces from each uh, script to try to create a full three-dimensional character, and uh, they've been brilliant at doing that. It's been an absolute blast. 
Okay. Now, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. What is Angela dreaming about? When you said that, I saw a dark night with a couple of stars. <laughs> Isn't that sad? What does that say about me? <laughs> well, that was my next question. What do you dream about? <laughs> I <laughs> see. I dream of a white Christmas with Santa Claus, oh, yeah. <laughs> but but poor old Angela goes right to the darkness, unfortunately. But again, we're going to find out why. She, I don't think she began that way. I think uh, she began life like any other kid, looking forward to to seeing Santa Claus at Christmas time. But uh, something happened. Something happened. And uh, Christine, tell me something about about playing scenes with uh, uh, you know two. They've established themselves as stars on the show, uh, Adrian Pastar and, and Milo Ventimiglia. What would surprise people to know about them, working with them? Well, this won't surprise you to know, but they're both extraordinarily handsome young men. And uh, But also they have, I don't think it'll surprise anybody, but they have great senses of humor. Um, Milo has a character, he puts on HRG's glasses, and he turns into the nerdiest of nerds. And he, I believe the name is Christopher. And I just, you just want to, you know, cuddle him like you wouldn't want to necessarily with, uh, with Peter, the Peter character. And Adrian just has me laughing all the time. He has a very dry sense of humor. They're joys. Both of them are just joys. Uh, to work with, as if there's not a, there's not a lemon in the whole cast. It's a mm-hmm. great blessing, great blessing to be a part of it. Now you've uh, you've I'm sure whetted everyone's appetite for tonight's episode. There's a couple more weeks left in the season. What's ahead for Angela and the boys? Oh uh, well, first uh, let me say you're absolutely right. The finale for this season is in two weeks on Monday, April 27th, and it's a humdinger. And I can promise you this: one of the main characters dies for sure. No, you 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 sound as excited about that as Angela might. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm starting to salivate just the idea of death. Oh my goodness, Angela's so excited. She's so excited. Listen, before before I lose you, uh, I yeah, want yeah. to say something. This is April is uh, Autism Awareness Month, and the mm-hmm. cast and crew of Heroes has joined the good fight to find a cure for this terrible uh, disease. Uh, one statistic: another case of autism is diagnosed every 20 minutes. We have to have to find a cure for it. So this coming Sunday, April 19th. The cast members of Heroes and the celebrity band, Band from TV, were joining forces with Autism Speaks, and we're going to hold a big old party to raise awareness and money for autism research. The party is called Heroes for Autism. It's going to take place here in Hollywood. If you can get it, get a, a you know, find your way out here to Hollywood. It's going to be at the club Avalon, Avalon Hollywood. And this is what's important. It's not some fancy schmancy uh, benefit where no one is invited. Tickets are on sale right now to the public at the website Heroes for Autism. You got to buy tickets, but they're there to be uh, to be bought. Heroes for Autism. There's going to be a cocktail party, and there's going to be an auction with artwork designed, created by the cast and crew. And there's going to be a lot of music with Greg Grumberg, Adrian Pastar, James Denton, Hugh Laurie, and Band from TV. Uh, there'll be a lot of um, celebrity guest. Uh, uh, performers. Cheryl Crow's going to be there. And Rain Wilson from The Office is going to emcee the entire event. And most of the cast is going to be there. So I hope people can make it out here. That uh, sounds like a lot of fun for a good cause. Absolutely. All right. And folks, you can catch the Ensemble Drama Heroes every Monday at 9 p.m. on NBC. And if you're smart, you'll tune in an hour early and catch another one of Mr. Media's favorite shows, Chuck. And you can catch up on episodes of both at www.nbc.com. And for more about Angela Petrelli, Christine Rose's character, and the characters of Heroes, check out heroeswiki.com. Oh, I Christine, like that. thanks. Oh, good. <laughs> Christine, thank you so much for joining us on Mr. Media. You were delightful. Bye, Mr. Media, as were you. All right, take care. And folks, for more interviews with the stars of Heroes, surf over to our main website. That's www.mrmedia.com. That's where you can listen to my earlier conversations with Milo Ventimiglia and David Lawrence. And please think about writing an online review of Mr. Media, casting a vote for Mr. Media, or marking Mr. Media as one of your favorites. Whether you listen on Blog Talk Radio, MySpace, Facebook, Hi5, Tag, Bebo, Orkut, Digital Journal, Podcast Pickle, Vox, Pointer Online, iGoogle, Yahoo, Folio, Mediafly, Podfeed.net, Blueberry Zencast, or Odeo. And subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. 
You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly, bob at andelman.com. It's A-N-D-E-L-M-A-N. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash Andelman. Thank you so much for uh, listening today. I always appreciate when you spend a little bit of your time with us.